looking inside the build, you'll see our power cords and cables connected. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Be Quiet Pure Power 12M 1200 watt power supply. I did receive the sample directly from Be Quiet, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging. You'll learn that this is an 80 plus gold certified power supply. Additional tech specs right down here on the back of the box. This also is ATX 3.0 and it's PCIe 5.0 for you next gen GPU users out there. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and see what's inside. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our user guide and manual. You'll see that it's the same for the 850 watt, 1000 watt and 1200 watt versions. Multiple languages covered here. Compatibility, safety features, troubleshooting, accessories, disposal information, copyright info all that good stuff repeated again in all those languages. Next, you'll see our main power cord and cable for the wall to the unit. Then we have all of our modular cabling right here. What piqued my interest is probably what you're most interested in too. Here is our GPU connector and you'll notice up to 600 watts supported with this cable. With this single cable right there, pretty sweet. So next gen is here. Then you'll see we have included screws. Looks like we got five screws for the power supply. Some cable ties right here, some zip ties for us. And lastly, we have the power supply unit. Let's look at that in more detail. Looking at the unit up close, this is the very bottom. You'll see our 120 millimeter fan included in there with the Be Quiet logo and branding in the white and orange. We'll rotate it to the side. This is the back side of the unit with our power hookup here. Again, that's gonna be for the wall. Toggle on and off switch there. Here's a quick peek at the side. You'll see the Be Quiet logo and branding. We'll look at the other side. We have our product spec right here for you. Warranty void if removed. So you got a little seal and sticker there. And then we'll flip it around to this side. You'll see all of our cabling options and connection points, motherboard drivers, P8, P8. We have our PCIe, PCIe 5.0, PCIe, all of that right there. And then a look at the very top of the unit, just a solid metal panel and cover there. Now let's go ahead, let's plug this in and try it out. All right, we have the power supply plugged in, powered on, everything's working great. The fan is spinning, but it is silent. You can't hear it. We have our universal power supply tester here with our 24 pin cable connected. That's for our motherboard power. Blue is what we wanna see, so everything's well within range. 4.9 to 5, 11.9 to 12, 3.2 to 3.3, 12.2 to 12, 5.1 to 5, and a PG score of 167. That's measured in milliseconds. You wanna see that anywhere between 100 and 500, so all is well there. Next, our PCI cable, 11.8 to 12. Again, blue is great. That's what we wanna see. That's gonna be for your GPUs, things like that. Then our CPU power, 11.9 to 12, well within range again. And then lastly, you'll see our SATA connector right here. That's for like 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch drives, maybe an accessory for a fan hub, LED controller, things along those lines. So 4.9 to 5, 11.9 to 12, and 3.2 to 3.3. Using this tester, everything is well within range and spec, which is great to see. Our PC's been built, our power supply installed. Let's check it out. Looking inside the build, you'll see our power cords and cables connected. First up, we have our GPU power cable hooked up right there. Then you'll see we have our motherboard power. And then moving right along up at the top, you'll see we have our two CPU power cables connected right there. Looking at the back side of the case, you'll see we have our outlet power being supplied into the case with our toggle on and off switch. Looking at the back side panel with it removed, you'll see we have our power supply right here. All of our cables that we're using tucked up and out of the way. This is gonna be our GPU 600 watt power supply cable. Then we have our main board cable right here for our motherboard power. You'll see our two CPU power cables moving right along up and into the build. And then on this side, we actually have a hub for our CPU cooler that we have power connected right down 
there. So that's how we have everything hooked up with this power supply. Now we're stress testing the power supply unit. We have the CPU and GPU under 100% low. Take a look at all the different charts and diagrams you're seeing on the screen that show you everything's at a consistent voltage, wattage, amperage, you get the idea. So everything's running smoothly with this power supply. We've conducted this test multiple times, no issues or hiccups or anything like that with this power supply unit. So under a heavy load and stressor, it's not having any issues whatsoever. Maybe you noticed it, maybe you didn't, but we're using the AMD 7700X. We're getting 145 watts at our max utilization and our GPU, the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Founders Edition, coming in at 316 watts for our max 100% utilization. Now we've cracked out the thermal cam here. Take a look at our GPU power cable here. Again, over 300 watts coming through here right now under max load showing right around that 115 degree Fahrenheit as it's heating up. The GPU though, nice and toasty there. Take a look at that power cable in the heat there. Next we have our motherboard cable right here, right about 80 degrees on the motherboard, nice and cool. And then up at the top, we have our CPU power cables here. Again, the CPU is being stressed right now, 85, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go over here a little bit. You'll see it's a little bit warmer. Getting closer to our heat sink and spreader there, 96, 98, but high 80s for the CPU power. Here's a look at the back side of the power supply. So internally, you'll see Got some components there we can kind of get it in on over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And here's the CPU cables on the back side. Same temp in the 80s, give or take a couple of degrees. Motherboard power cable again coming in right around 74, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And then very bottom of our GPU cable here, right around that 75, 76 degree mark on the back side from our case. And then here's a look at the power supply unit itself from the side, you're seeing coming in right around 81, 82 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so for those wondering, currently we're getting 70, 71 watts at idle here with the PC powered on. You'll see kilowatt hours. We also have our voltage 122.7 and 0.619 amps at idle. And now with the PC under a full load and stress test for the CPU and GPU, you'll see that we're showing 552 watts. Currently, we have our kilowatt hours. Then you'll see we have 120.6 volts and our amps is now up to 4.6. Eight. Now let's talk about noise. With this power supply, very, very quiet. If you're under any sort of load, you're gonna hear your system fans over any noise that your power supply unit will make. Now for this particular unit, if I do put my ear right up next to it and listen in, I do feel like I hear a little bit of faint coil whine, if that's what you wanna call it, just a little bit faintly, but again, that's with my ear right up next to it. So that could truly vary power supply unit to power supply unit. So in our case, we'll have a little bit of wine there, but you're only gonna hear that if you actually put your ear right up next to it. It's not gonna be noticeable if you're just having your computer even this far away. I'm listening in, I wanna try to hear it, but I'm hearing some of the fans from our system verse any of that wine. So that's just what I want to point out there in regards to noise. It's going to be very quiet. You may or may not experience some of that whining too. Doesn't matter for us. That hasn't changed whether that was on an idle load or a full load. It didn't get louder, quieter, anything like that. So just very, very faint coming out of there. But again, you'll hear your system fans over anything you would hear from the power supply. So far, so good with our Be Quiet Pure Power 12M, 1200 watt power supply. No issues at all during installation. I love that it's fully modular. That's definitely the way to go. Helps declutter your build as well too, so you don't have cables that you're not actually using. This particular power supply in this build has so much extra headroom. We have like 600 watts 
extra. So plenty of room if we want to pop in a 4090, upgrade our CPU, anything along those lines will be good for years to come. And there's that 10 year warranty. So time will tell to see how long it holds up, but so far so good with all the other Be Quiet power supplies I've ever tested, never had any issues, but you have that 10 year warranty to fall back on if ever needed.